Kong. So it's going to be the Kong. They're going to head into this Smashville game one. Stroder versus Red Panda. Stroder already putting on a lot of shield pressure and getting that combo starter in air. Not going to follow much off of that. Good stuff to Red Panda air dodging out of the up throw up air. Gets that up tilt. Waits for, ooh, could have gotten a grab there, but not to be. The back airs. Oh, and that up B. Going to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, really good conversions here from Red Panda. He's not exactly being aggressive, but whenever he sees an opportunity, he's taking as much as he can with it. And that's that's how you got to do it. So the event is trading percent right now. Yep. Stroder getting a good Phantom Footstool in, him, uh, in order to let him land. Down tilt's going to pop him up. Ooh, oh, and, and that down smash is going to kill. Good Take him off Stroder. the side. Ooh, but that, is that it? Yes, it is. Red Panda firing right back at the stock of his own, getting that ding dong. Smash for his resident grappler, Donkey Ooh, Kong. Ooh, but a Ooh. good combo from Stroder. Not getting the sweet spot of the up smash, but still netting 40%, and oh. then the stock. Great down air from Stroder. Just going to send Red Panda right back south to where he came from. Stroder just said, you know what? You're going to be here, and that's where my feet are going to be, and you're not going to make it back. You're going to hit the blast zone. Good stuff from Stroder to take game one over Red Panda. So let's see if Red Panda is going to stay Donkey Kong, if he's going to make the switch. He definitely has a lot of characters up his sleeve, so it'll be interesting to see what it is that he chooses to go with. Yeah, I mean, it's, Red Panda was doing a good job of keeping up percent-wise, putting on damage with Donkey Kong, but Schroeder just running away. Mm -hmm. Donkey and Kong Schroeder definitely combo food. Going to stay DK and take him to... Arguably DK's best stage right here, Town and City. Always getting early kills up here is uh, the Kong himself, but already we see Red Panda getting forced into the corner, not where you want to be. Donkey Kong, of course, having a terrible disadvantage today. And of course, also being combo food as we see here, Stroder piling on 82% already. We all know Donkey Kong can pile on damage just as well. Ooh, almost dying to that, but good air dodge to get away from the shuriken and make it on a stage, and or at least to the ledge. Strode is just letting the game come to him, like, mm -hmm. just knowing where to be. And that up air, not His do ledge it. traps have been great so far. We still see, even from, like, essentially the beginning of a match, Red Panda hasn't left the corner. Now he's going to leave the stage, dying off the top in that star KO. Stroder with a great lead on this game, too. Stroder definitely putting on a clinic, a ninja clinic. 69% though, ooh, 78. This is a prime opportunity for Red Panda to get a grab. Straighter gonna have to be playing really elusive like the Slippery Frog he is. Oh. And I believe he is now out of the Ding Dong window. Up to the up air. Ooh, another up air, just gonna tickle him for 1%. Straighter just putting on as much damage as he can. Mm -hmm. Good raw back air. Ooh. Ooh, flipping it with the Shadow Sneak, beating out the intangible down tilt. Red Panda doesn't want to take too much percent here. He wants to take this stock. Mm -hmm. Especially since Ding Dong has a worse window once you have Rage. So with that Rage piling on Red Panda, he's going to have to find another that way to take this next stock if he can. Not going to do it. Up be back to stage. Let's see if he gets ledge trapped. But he doesn't. That get up attack. Uh, helping, giving a helping hand. Oh my god. Stroder! Stroder! Stroder's getting flashy. Getting that forward air off the side. Red Panda getting two stocked for the second time in a row. Definitely. Red Panda definitely having a hard time. Doesn't know how to deal with this, this quickness, mm -hmm. landing, being off stage. Stroder doing a great job. Just applying pressure everywhere. Not making this a fun time for Red Panda. <laughs> Alright, so we'll see if Red Panda makes a character switch. He's definitely considering it. Getting some advice from his friend Diago, um, really solid Marth main from the same region. Just barely lost to Pink Menace in Game 5 set I just saw. So, that's going to uh, gonna be stepping out of the bracket to help his friend Red Panda, who's down 2 0 in this set against the famous Greninja Stroder. We're gonna see. Looks like he might be staying Donkey Kong. 
No, he's not. He's switching to Bayonetta. Ooh. Ooh. The Strutter classic switch to Bayo to win. Let's see if it works out for him. Mm -hmm. We'll see. So game three, Stroder up 2-0 on Red Panda. We're going to Dreamland. Oh, and he's going to taunt. Stroder feeling confident. Mm -hmm. Already we see Stroder stuck in the disadvantaged position, but he gets right out of it with that forward air. Gets a nice combo for 34%. Already, once again, in the lead. For how long, though? Wow, that SDI from Stroder was beautiful. Red Panda's going to have to catch on to that if he wants to get these conversions. Getting out the up tilt with a down tilt, and already, once again, Stroder just getting out of these combos with his SDI. He can, I can see his controller from here. He's just wiggling that stick crazy fast. So Stroder definitely knows the matchup really well, approaching it the right way. But Perhaps oh, this is why we saw away. him smiling when he saw the switch. This is good stuff from Stroder, getting out of these Bayonetta combos. Mm -hmm. And despite getting out of these combos, you see it's already pretty even. We've seen a lot of adaptation come out from Red Panda. He's trying not to do as many over commitments, and he's also doing a pretty good job getting out of the corner. But as oh. I see that, gets the sliding down tilt into up smash, and Stroder securing a great lead up here. Now we're just seeing the patient game come out from Stroder. Gotta be wary of which time, but he can still just kind of pick and choose his opportunities once he has this lead. Good up air from Red Panda, but he's not gonna be able to convert anything off of that. So here we go, Red Panda. Keeping center stage, trying to get this stock out of the way. And I really like the way that Stroder is just run up shielding because so far this entire game you haven't seen Red Panda go for a single grab so just getting you know, that awareness from Stroder that he can run up shield and just punish any aerial that lands on his shield is just really good that roll gonna get scouted out though and Red Panda almost taking the stock forward throw yep gonna get Stroder off stage let's see how Red Panda deals with this situation and another good grab down throw He's just going to set himself up connect? for a back air, but forward throw. forward throw again. Not going to kill despite poor DI from Stroder. Gets those multi-jabs in. Stroder still looking confident despite taking all this damage. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely a, a stock up here, so why not be but Oh, but that up air is going to do it. As Red I Panda that. trying to avoid getting sent to losers on his last stock of winner's side. Yep, still alive here is Red Panda. Gets the side B, up tilt. Not going to get those uh -oh, up airs. Coming. Barely missing the tech chase on the platform. And that one definitely going to get punished, but no. Oh. That within, bailing out Red Panda. Baits out the spot dodge Stroder does, but still not going to be able to get the punish with that frame four uh, disjointed Bayo uppy. Definitely a really fast oh, up, but the down smash is going to do it. And that's Stroder. a clean 3-0 for Stroder. I don't believe he's lost a game so far. Impressive.